Yo, what's going on, homies? It's your boy Stumped back for another OPTC video, and in today's video, slashes, are they finally dead? Are they? Let me know in the comment section below because with this new law comes some very, very powerful buffs to strikers and the demolition of the slasher class. Now, slashers have been running around for a very long time. Beating the crap out of everything. Ever since back in the day of the original Super Sugo, Roger, and Odin, the separate Super Sugo units, Slashers have been absolutely dominant. They've been so freaking powerful, and they've had to bring in particular characters to actually nerf them. And the first characters to do that was the combination of Rebecca Toy Soldier and Enel, as you guys see on screen right here. Now, they have... Characters like Whitebeard and Roger, they have 6 plus version of that same Odin, we have S-Hawk, we have Zoro Sanji, we have Shanks Super Sugo, they have a lot. Slashes have a lot, they're very very good, they've got good PvP Rare Crews, they've got good PvP Legends, and they've just been absolutely dominant. So, what did Bandai do to counteract this? They basically took a formula that worked way, way back when, and applied it to a new Super Sugo vs. Law, and in today's video, we're taking a look at the anti-slasher meta and an anti-slasher team with the new verse law. But what does he do in PvP? Why does he why is he so good at taking down slashers? Well, his rumble ability targets slasher t uh, enemies for uh, attack down level seven. He gives striker teammates HP up level six, speed up level six, defense up level four, and then revives himself one time at 30% HP. So he has a nice cheeky little revive. This is kind of good to get his special off because his special sends slashes into the realm even more. His special level 10 targets striker teammates attack up level 6, targets two high defense teammates, uh, sorry, enemies for HP 40% reduction, and then 5,000 damage. Targets slasher teammates enemies for an 80% chance to action bind and an 80% chance to special bind for 10 whole seconds. So this combination of action binding and special binding is really detrimental to strikers, uh, to slashes. They don't have much going for them in the way of taking this down. But as you can see, even with RNG and all that fun stuff going against you or with you or, or anything you want to call it, you can still get bodied. Like, slashes can still body you so quickly. They have very good CD, they have very good damage output, and obviously a lot of people have invested in them. So they have a lot of attack, level 150 characters, and all that fun stuff. But as you can see, we managed to get it done. We managed to beat the first fight. Uh, I did actually lose to a fight before this. Um, so like I said, I don't think this is the be-all or end-all for Slashes. I just think that this is probably the best team going to try and take down the meta-based Slasher team. And that's what I'm doing in today's video. I I'm versing these big, big teams. I'm, I'm finding characters like Zoro, Sanji, S-Hawk, Whitebeard, Roger, Super Sigra, Shanks, Raizo, Shinobu. Characters that have, or teams that have like 8-man builds or... Brook on the bench so Zora Sanji can go to the absolute moon and we can try and do some fun stuff there. But the reason I'm not super sold on Law is because he is a striker based booster. And the fact that his name is Law means we can't use the brand new 6 Plus, the shiny new unit that only came out like two, three months ago that is 6 Plus Law and how powerful he is in the PvP game mode as well. So that's the big downside to this character. I like what they've done with Law to stop. The slasher train. I just don't like that they did it with Law. Like it, the Lord, it just didn't need to be a Law character. But in saying that, he's a size striker. He works well with Enel, who was the original slasher killer. He can be put on a side based team with Rebecca Toy Soldier, and you can do some fun stuff there. Downside, as I mentioned, is the fact that Law buffs striker characters, and size striker isn't exactly in the strongest position. Obviously, you have. Uh, level Lunar Break, 6 plus Yamato, who's very, very good. You have Enel, obviously, very, very good. Now he's a 20 cost unit, level legend, I should say. That's always fun. You can use Rebecca Toy Soldier with the rest of a side team and do some fun stuff there. Whitebeard and Roger is a striker. So Law is actually buffing Whitebeard Roger. And then Whitebeard Roger, in turn, is buffing the entire team because Whitebeard Roger can buff side characters. However, Enel, Rebecca Toy Soldier, Yamato, those types of characters. They don't actually buff Whitebeard Roger. So, Whitebeard Roger's damage is very good. And the reason I brought them was because I was lacking damage on this team. Like, we were action biting the slashes. We were stopping them in their tracks. But I didn't have enough damage to kill them. So, like, Yamato is one thing. But I just didn't have that next echelon, that, that little bit of over 
to take down their team before the action mine went away, before the uh, special mine went away, because I was hitting characters like YP Roger, I was hitting characters like S-Hawk, but I wasn't killing them before they could actually use their special. But, Psy Striker, it's kind of moving. I, I wish I had Jin. If I had Jin, that would be awesome, because Jin's obviously great at taking down in characters, which is just like a massive S-Hawk killer. Um, you have other characters like um, Kuzan that can work. You guys saw him in the first part of this video. Uh, I did try him on the bench. I tried him in the front, but he just kind of wasn't working for me that well. I had Wipeed Roger on the bench, but they weren't coming in at the right time. And then I decided to try some stuff with Shanks. Now, Shanks has an ability where he can buff um, Driven, Slasher, uh, Fighter, and Cerebral characters. So he's actually buffing a lot of characters on this team, uh, namely Wipeed Roger, Enel, and Law. And then for the bench, he actually buffs the Conjurer and the Hina unit as well. So you can do some really fun stuff with him. But another very good character for the bench is the uh, Anniversary Exclusive Shanks. He has a fantastic special after 50 seconds. So if he comes in at the back end and you're looking more at a Psy based team, maybe you build out the bench more Psy centric. You could use something like a Kulgar Nolan if you're versing um, more Int and Druin Powerhouse centric teams and have that unit come in at the back end as well. Have that sort of still striker build working. But Psy is kind of moving away from stuff like Free Spirit, and I, and I do like that they're doing this. Um, it does help them out a lot. Obviously, you have stuff like Saul, who's a great character too, to buff Cerebrals and Psy characters if you throw him there. But I really want to see how this particular lore goes over on a Striker-centric team. Strikers have had a lot of buffs recently, obviously with um, the Memories of the Strike and Nami being a very, very good and powerful character. Obviously, Tesoro 6 Plus is still fantastic. Jack 6 Plus with their level limit breaks are great characters too. And then obviously, you can do some fun stuff with um, Luffy Yamato off the bench. Um, you have Hina, Sasaki, Kanjiro as um, rare recruits as well. So strikers are starting to get into a bit of a position where they actually have a formidable team starting to form rather than a team that kind of just thrown together and for some reason just works rather than... Um, uh, yeah, what am I trying to say? Yeah, rather than having a team that we just throw together and, and, and it just kind of, you know, it works. But if you guys have been running an anti-slasher uh, team, let me know in the comment section below. Have you guys been going like all psi centric units? Have you been using characters that are more... Um, striker centric what's been working for you guys let me know down below because i'd love to do a striker showcase on law as well but for now i figured partnering him up with enel and rebecca toy soldier would be the best way of taking that slashes and as you can see like we're reversing some some pretty big big ass teams this particular defense team um has popped up quite a lot um with the luffy on the bench as the character to trigger um zoro sanji and then have just like that backhand burst so i saw it and i thought hey Let's just see how we go, because as I mentioned at the start of the video, whilst I do think this is a very good anti-slasher meta, it's not foolproof. Uh, slashes can still get a good RNG. You could Yamato could miss units with her half stats. Um, she might not hit the right characters, or um, units might not fall in the Great Succession, and slashes can still absolutely decimate you, as you guys saw in that first uh, particular fight where... We are very, very close to defeat because s -Hawk goes, because Roger Whitebeard goes, Shanks can go, like, Ryzo Shinobu can do stuff like Action Bind. Um, you can be put in a really good spot, a really bad spot. Uh, Law does have a relative cooldown. Uh, I would say it's it's um, uh, it's acceptable. 30 second cooldown for what he does isn't too terrible. But the problem, like I said, is that he's a Law character, and the big Law character that you want to bring for some cooldown reduction is one or law six plus so it is a bit unfortunate that you can't run the two of them together but this whole this new law brings a new dynamic and is another law that is killing class-based teams and so i like to see that they looked at the matter and went okay look we need to do something about this slashes have just been on top for way too long and we need to start implementing characters that can um, take them down or allow players to go at least go up against them. But like I said, let me know what you guys are running against slashes in the comment section below while you're down there. Belt the like button, hit the subscribe button, do all that good stuff. Most importantly, if you guys are in this beautiful world, please remember to enjoy the rest of your day. As always, homies, thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Let's